Hello, and this is Kendra McDonald, and today I'm bringing another Thomas Wooden Railway story for you guys. Today's episode is episode one. It's called, it's called A Shocking Surprise for Percy. Percy was having a lovely time puffing along the main line on the island of Sodra. He went up Gordon's Hill, very fast back down. Percy was very excited to see the new river that have, that have been built for the dam, unless it's, unless it's, unless it's, unless the dam breaks. But, but then, all of a sudden, Percy's brakes came on. What happened? There was a large drawbridge that was covering the river, so Percy could not get a good view of it. How dare you, river! And Percy went back very, very mad. But then, at the bottom of the hill, so Bobby Hat was there. Hello, oh, Percy. You have to collect these cars. You have to collect these cars. Yes, sir. So Percy went on to the other line, coupled up to the cars. And Percy went back. But the cars hated Percy. They did not like him. So they decided to get back at him. So when Percy reached the top of the hill, his brakes came on. This was the signal for the freight cars. On, 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 they yelled. Percy was away, but the car screaming and yelling behind him. But Percy forgot all about the bridge. The, the bridge was going to test it, but the bridge got stuck. <laughs> the bridge jolted upwards and it got jammed. And then the stream turned into a torrent. Stop, stop, cried Percy. Percy was pretty scared. So then, Percy's brakes had came on. At last, the cars grew tired. I'm winning, Percy, Percy said. If only I could win. But then, his driver had fought for control. He came nearer and nearer and nearer to the bridge. Then, it was all or nothing now. The driver braked hard. So then, Percy went under the bridge. He was barely on the stream, but the cars thought he was drowning. They didn't want him to drown from their view. So they pulled, but, but the, the first car could not pull because he was in the air. But then, Percy's, Percy's funnel had got caught on one of the supports, so it was hard for him to move. But then, the large coupling had snapped. The cars didn't plan on this, but, but since they do that all the time, they decided to do it. On, 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 they cried. Percy whistled. Stop, stop, he cried Percy, but the cars didn't listen. On, on, faster, faster, they did it. No. But then here comes Gordon's Hill. Well, the cars were pretty scared since this was the steepest part. So they went closer and closer and closer. So they started to go up the hill. Well, the, they were slowing down. They barely got to the top. But the cars managed to make it. But since the large car was kind of dangling and it was heavier than the red car, it pulled the red car. It pulled the red car so hard. Then they went back down the hill again. On, on, faster, faster, they giggled. But then Percy started to get upwards. Percy was nearly there when he heard the cars coming. On, on, they cried. So then Percy was nearly at the top. But then the cars were coming. And then it was too late. They pushed Percy back down. So then, and then the coupling magically came back on again. But since Percy's wasn't stuck to the wasn't stuck to the support again, the cars had pulled and he pulled as well. They pulled and pulled until finally he was back onto the track. And the turn and 
and Percy went away. Five days, la five days later, the bridge was mended and it could finally work again. And the and then Percy told the top of hat what just happened. I'm very, very sorry, sir, for all the trips causing me trouble. It's all right, Percy. Accidents happen. <gasps> oh, I need to tell you something. What I saw, at the end of the bridge, there's no track. <gasps> Uh-oh. I hope Sir Topham Hat fixes the tracks tomorrow. Don't you?